welcome to mom's cherished home i'm bringing you another really adorable valentine day idea that you can um, a gift idea that you can make in your own kitchen i've got this delicious apple and it's a smaller apple than this apple i'm going to put these two together and we're going to make an adorable teddy bear wait till you see the final result it's going to be adorable so just sit with me we're going to go ahead and dip this first one in some chocolate kind of a little bit lighter what i did is i added milk chocolate and white chocolate to get this effect and i see oh. we're gonna get the whole apple you want the whole apple you want that whole apple to be colored or covered that is going to be adorable. So we're going to leave that there. We're going to let that dry. Then we're going to take our large apple. Now one thing you want to make sure is you want to make sure that this apple is completely dry before you dip it in that chocolate. Okay. And this is going to be our bottom piece. So we're going to put the skewer in this way. And then in a few minutes, we're going to put that little piece of apple on top of this we're gonna let it dry first so we're gonna dip that oh that's so big i don't know that's gonna be hard to dip in this chocolate whoa this skewer is strong but i'm not sure how strong it is get this whole apple in here let's just keep working it Now it's cold outside, so my chocolate is starting to harden on me, so you want to do this pretty quickly. So we're going to let that dry. We're going to let this two dry, and then we're going to come back in a minute, we're going to do the back like a dark brown, so it really looks like a bear. But you'll see the finished result in a few minutes, and you'll be um, quite surprised. And it's okay if we have this little piece open, because we're going to put this on top. So this piece right here really needs to have more chocolate on it right here. We want to cover that up. And then in a minute, we're gonna put some little um, tiny marshmallows on there for the um, for the ears. And I'll come back and show you. Hey everyone, now I don't have regular marshmallows, but I have these little peppermint marshmallows. I'm not sure if anybody's gonna eat these, they probably will. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip this. I've cut, uh, broken the toothpick off so that I can stick it in that apple and make it look like ears. But I'm gonna just dip this really quick in chocolate all the way. And I'm gonna let it sit there for just a minute. I'm gonna take the other one. This is getting a little messy, but it'll work, work. And it's gonna be so cute when you see the final result. We're gonna let that, oh, we want a little more chocolate on there. Let that sit a minute. Those are the ears. And so we'll be back in just a minute and I'll show you how to put okay, it together. Okay guys, so we're gonna find the smoothest side of the apple and in a minute we're gonna actually take that and dip it in some darker chocolate. But what I'm gonna do in the meantime is I'm gonna add a little spot. I'm gonna put some chocolate there. And I am going to add a little heart. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. That's gonna dry really quick because it's super cold out and that temperature's not really working with us, so. Okay, we'll be back in a moment. I'm gonna take the darker chocolate. You see that this is light. This is milk chocolate mixed with white. And we're just gonna dip one side and make it look like a bear. I seen this and I'm gonna show you a picture of the one I seen in the store, so. Cute. And there we go. We got the little bear body. And we're gonna do this with the head as well. And we decided to use grapes on the ears. So you see the grape, we let it sit there like this, and it gets a flat back. So we're gonna use a flat back for the ear. So this is the front of the apple. And then we're gonna do the same thing that we just did. You're just gonna wanna dip 
the back side of this and the dark chocolate. It's gonna come out really super cute. in the way now. I'll just take a spoon and drizzle some of that on there. What we're trying to create is a two-tone effect, so going to smooth it out a little bit and then I'm going to smooth out this make some put some right here put just a little bit on that ear and smooth it out in the back there we go we're gonna let that dry we're gonna come back and put it all together okay, so now we're gonna add we've got the little ears aren't they cute look at those those are so cute and then we're gonna put a little chocolate here and I've got these little edible eyes. Let's see if I can get these on here. They should be pretty easy to get on. And then, we'll come back in a second. We're gonna add a little smiling face and then we'll be right back. Hey everyone, we're back. We're gonna add a little mouth. I had to try to figure out what I was gonna do for the mouth and I'm just gonna add a little heart for the little mouth. Let's see if I can get it on there. This is gonna be hard because this heart is super tiny. There we go. But I think it needs a nose. See if we can make us a little nose. Get a piece of the chocolate. You know, bears have big noses, right? We're gonna add this nose. That is super cute, guys. Now, what I've done is I've taken a skewer that has the pointy edge on it. And I'm going to use this as our anchor to put the other apple into the other apple. And it's dried, so we're pretty good to go there. We'll take that off. And we will put it in there so. Look at how adorable that is. Guys, you've got to make one of these now. This is, could use just a little touch up, but this is my first time making the little teddy bear. I noticed we could push that down a little bit, the ears. But it's so cute. It's a perfect Valentine's Day treat. I think it, it needs a screw on the top so you can pick it up and wrap it up in some cellophane. It'll make the perfect gift. Hey guys, this is so adorable. Now, if you noticed, I ended up not using this little, I had little marshmallows. Let me fix this little mouth a little bit. And I used edible eyes, and I just used some little chocolate that dripped for the nose. This was a little Wilton sprinkle that you can buy, but I did do the two tones. If you notice, I added the milk chocolate and the white and got this effect. And it, so it does, really look like a little teddy bear and it's so cute guys I'm gonna work with these and try to tweak it to make it look even better but I seen this in the grocery store and I said I gotta go home and make that that's so cute and it's a perfect gift for your apple lover or something unique instead of like the strawberry bouquets or the fruit bouquets and all that so I hope you really enjoy this it's two apples and um, I'm gonna make another one, and the next one I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make that little apple on top just a little bit smaller because I think it looks like it's almost similar in size, but I do think it's so cute. And I'm so glad you watched the video today, and I hope you make 
one of these for one of your loved ones or a friend or anybody for Valentine's Day. It's just super cute. It's different. There's two apples. It's pretty healthy other than the chocolate. But hey, chocolate's healthy too, right? Thanks for watching Mom's Cherished Home. And if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. I'm a new channel. I'm going to bring videos to you often and I hope you enjoyed it. Happy Valentine's Day.